Hi, this is Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So today I thought we'd talk about Andrew Cuomo. And I love these cards. They're nice and colorful, easy to handle. They're a little bit slippery, to be honest. Um, so that's kind of a pain but they're nice to look at so and uh, so Andrew Cuomo I mean he was just like the best but is that who we all are are we all just a big mix and when you're that when you're that public um, is it just magnified that much more or what's the deal with, with behaving the way he was behaving is that to uh, some, I don't know, some other generational thing? I, can't, I really don't know. So we'll just see uh, what can be a good question about Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo. Why in the world uh, was he risking, risking all that? Does he, is he genuinely guilty of these accusations? Andrew Cuomo, did you do it? Did you do it, buddy? I think that's the question we want to ask. Andrew Cuomo, is what they're accusing you of true? We'll spread these out. Take six right away. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Put these to the side and see what do we get for Andrew Cuomo. So are you guilty of this, Andrew Cuomo, the signifier card? Huh, hold four coins, holding on to what you got. Something looks like uh, New York City behind him, behind him. That's interesting. So the signifier card is the four coins holding on to what you've got for are you guilty, Andy? Challenge to that then is going to be seven of coins. Have I done enough? Is there more to uh, take care of here? Or perhaps did I do enough is, is the better question. Um, was I true enough? That's the challenge to trying to hold on. The base of this then is the three of wands, making plans, moving on. I need something else. <laughs> so, he is the governor. The next step would be run for president. If he wasn't going to run for governor again, I don't know uh, about term limits or how often you can do that or how long he's even been in. So, um, yeah, three of wands are definite long term plans. And uh, maybe that's what was in his mind after all to run for president. The past, the recent past, is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is, um, you know, remembering. A sweeter time recently and uh, in the sky for this reading is going to be the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is really um, holding on to also what you've got but uh, but recognizing the value nurturing it to become more um, having quite a bit of authority over over how this is going to work out for yourself is what's in the sky there then the particular uh, potential outcome is the tower card and you know it's it's complete um, interruption of your plan in the biggest way and whatever you're going to do is not going to happen you know the tower is just um, it, it won't work this way the self for this reading is a chariot things moving on fast and uh, yeah that's how it looks right now things have really accelerated and I would say that uh, that's perfectly appropriate. The uh, environment that this is moving in. Now remember, it, we're saying, Andrew Cuomo, are you guilty of this? Did you did you do it? So, but what this shows me, this almost picks up from just past the guilt, right onto the problem of the the people coming forward, uh, because this is telling me holding on to what you've got, wondering. Uh, did I cultivate this properly? Have I have I worked this up right? And uh, is one even getting away from you here? 
Um, it was about having to make plans from for what you're doing to what you might do next all along. That was the that was the whole whole thing driving everything to begin with. But this raining doesn't seem to take us past into the into the past, except to say, um, you know, this is a more innocent time. And I hate to say it, but I wonder if these cars aren't telling us that that maybe it was as innocent as he could be um, with a with a skewed uh, way of thinking. I don't know. But in the sky, then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Who's really looking down with um, some authority and uh, keeping everything on a solid ground, I would say. But the outcome is inevitable. It's not going to take very long. And the environment that the whole thing's in is judgment. Of course it's judgment. That's what it's all about, judgment. The hopes and the fears for that, then, are, you know, this is uh, the Five of Wands. And uh, just uh, an entanglement, a difficulty, um, you know. But that's not something that's not overcomable. And this is telling us that it's a hard stop. So the final outcome for this then would be the Hierophant, the government. And um, so if we want to take um, the, the, the higher road, then we can say that the government is ultimately going to be the winner in the situation as to whether um, Andrew Cuomo is guilty or not. And this has just got a slight suggestion here in this recent pass card that he may not be as guilty as we think he is. Not probably a very popular thing to say, but that's where I'm at with this. Well, it looks to me like the government's going to win in the end. And um, things will be taken care of. Um, there's a hard stop. And then it's over. If, I, But I think that refers to any aspirations he may have had for the presidency. So there you go. Andrew Cuomo, are you guilty? Guilty enough to put a kibosh on his... Um, uh, thoughts about going for presidency well i'm mark this is my my journey to tarot thank you so much for stopping by and um, and listening to these ramblings and uh check it again tomorrow i'll be right here ciao for now